Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's your boy, Beaky, and let's talk the setup process for the Steam Deck. How long does it take to update, insert your memory, have your games downloaded to the right area, and well, enjoy your console. The first thing you guys will need to do is go ahead and provide power to the unit right up here on top. It's one of the biggest things that Valve points out on their instruction sheet. You need to go ahead and plug it in, and then tap the power button at the top to start up the unit just like that and you'll be welcome to the welcome screen. We're gonna go ahead and pick our language. This is gonna be English. Then we're gonna go ahead and pick our time zone. And on the next screen, it's going to go ahead and ask you to insert your Wi-Fi information. So go ahead and do that privately, of course. Once you're connected to Wi-Fi, it will start going ahead and check in for updates and installing them. So while the Steam Deck goes ahead and finish updating, let's talk about our memory selection for the Steam Deck. We went with the Samson Evo Select. This has a transfer speed of 130 MB per second. Of course, probably realistically, you're not gonna get that good, but either ways, the reason I went with this card has some features that I need in an SD card for my deck, and you would like to have them as well. In general, you wanna have something that says V30 here and A2. If you don't know what those are mean, you can always Google them, but in general, you wanna have a card that says that it'll work the best for the deck currently. And of course, there's different options in pricing. You do not have to go with Samsung, you can go with different brands. And I'll have an article linking to more information of what cards have been known to work best with the decks so far. Even though we currently have 512 gigabyte SD card installed, it does not show up here. What we first need to do is head on over to the system settings. We could get there easily by actually, there's an icon right up top. Click on that. You could do update for the system update later, but go down to format SD card and go ahead and click on that. Of course, if there's any data on it, it will be erased. So most likely this is not a quick format. This is something specifically for the deck, as you would see on Windows. So now in our storage system, we now have either the internal drive or we have the micro SD. Now with your memory card properly installed, you could go ahead and select where you want your games to be installed when you go ahead and download them. You have your memory card slot or your internal memory. It's that simple. The others, they're done. No amount of money is gonna get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's gonna be a hell of a fight. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here with them. Not a chance. 